Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to install the Google Chrome browser on a Kindle Fire tablet. Now, if you're one of the millions of people who took advantage of the big sale that Amazon had on Black Friday, where you could get an 8 or 10 inch Kindle Fire tablet for $49 or $79, you may have discovered that it is really a nice tablet. It's fast, it does lots of things, it works extremely well. The only thing it's missing, though, is the Google Chrome browser. It comes with a Silk browser, which is Amazon's creation. And even though Silk is nice, it's not nearly as nice as Google Chrome. Now, Amazon doesn't provide a one-click way to install the Google Chrome browser. But the good news is it's easy to install. You don't have to root your Kindle Fire tablet or anything else. All you have to do is download a couple of files and change one setting on your tablet. I've done this to both of my Kindle Fires, including the Kindle Fire version 1 and the latest Kindle Fire tablet. So let me show you how to do it. First thing you want to do on your Fire is to pull down from the top menu until you find Settings. On Settings, go to Security. And on Security, go to Apps from Unknown Sources and turn that on. Then close your Settings screen. Next, you want to open the Silk Browser. That's the browser that's built in the Kindle tablet. And in the Silk Browser, type in this address right here. This is www.apkmira.com slash apk slash google dash inc slash chrome. There's a lot to it, but just type that in. And once you've typed that in, the Silk Browser will go to that address. It will look like this. You'll want to scroll down, and you'll see that it has the Chrome Browser all versions. Now on mine, I just did the uh, latest version of the Chrome Browser, but you don't want to just download it. You want to click the four variants. And that'll open a second screen, and it'll show you the different variants that are available. And the variants are based on the version of Android on your device. If you have an older Kindle Fire, you'll want to use Android 4.1. And that's what I did on my older Kindle Fire. And actually, Android 4.1, this version will work on all tablets. So that's the one I use. If you've got the newer 2018 tablet, you can use Android 5.0. And to download these, all you do is click on them. And when you click on them, your Kindle tablet is going to pop up a message just saying, files like this can be dangerous. Do you want to continue? You'll, you'll choose yes. And the download will start. Now, the download will take anywhere from a minute to five minutes, depending on the speed of your internet connection. When the download is completed, at the bottom of your Kindle device, a little message will pop up saying, download and completed. Do you want to open? Go ahead and click that. Now, if it doesn't open, put your finger on the left side of your Kindle screen and slide it over. And when you do that, it's going to open up a screen that has a number of things on it. And one of those things is downloads. And if you click that downloads link, it'll show you everything you've downloaded to your Kindle Fire. The file that you've just downloaded, which is com.android.chrome, should be there. And to install it, just click it. And when you click it, it'll ask you, do you want to install? Just choose yes. The install process will take about a minute. And when you're done, Google Chrome will be on the apps list. It'll actually just be on the second page of the screen of your Kindle Fire. To start up, you just click it and it starts like any other Chrome browser. Now the good thing is once you install a Google Chrome browser on your Kindle device, if you already have a Google account, and you probably do, you can log into that Google account through your browser and it will know all your bookmarks. So all the bookmarks that you've saved on your computer will now be available on your Kindle Fire browser. So it's really, really easy to do. Like I say, you can do the whole thing in just about three minutes. Doesn't take much technical skill at all. Now, if you're not satisfied with just having the Google Chrome browser, but you want full access to the Google Play Store where you can download more games and more apps, you can do that on your Kindle Fire as well. But you want to do it on the newer Kindle Fire, not the older one. And the process is pretty much the same. The only difference is instead of downloading one file, you're going to be downloading four files, and those files have to be downloaded in this exact order here. And once they're downloaded, you will install them in this exact order here. Sometimes when you try to install multiple files, the next button for install won't show up. And if that's the case, just press the power button on your Kindle, let it power down, and then bring it back up, and you'll see the next button is there. Once you do install all four of these files, you'll have the Google Play Store as well as Google Chrome, and it's really easy to do. You'll find complete instructions on how to do that in the link below this article. Anyway, if you really want to get a lot more out of your Kindle Fire browser, go ahead and install Google Chrome. You'll love it. It's a lot faster. Things look a lot better. One last tip. When I use the Google browser on my tablets, one thing I always do is to click the set of dots that appear in the right-hand screen and choose Request Desktop Site. 
and what that does it delivers the desktop version of the page so it makes things look the same on the tablet as they would on my computer anyway thought you might be interested in knowing about this i'm bill myers this has been another one of my video tips of the week you can find more like this at www.bmyers.com